I told that boy I loved him, and do you know what he said? I don't believe you. He thinks because Damon's back in the country, we'll eventually get back together. I'm sorry, this is the part where you say Lano's acting crazy. It's just... All of the reasons that you and Damon couldn't be together are gone. Are you sure you haven't thought about getting back what you lost? Damon and I are just friends. All right, y'all, let's get into this emotional roller coaster from the finale episode. So Simone comes crashing into the room, and you can already tell from her energy that something heavy went down. Like, you know when you've got that look and you just need to vent to your girls? That's exactly what's happening here. Simone straight up tells Nate and Keisha, I told that boy I loved him. And boom, just like that, you already know she's talking about Lando. But hold up, here's the kicker. Lando didn't believe her. He literally hit her with the I don't believe you line because Damon is back in the country. And now Lando's all insecure, thinking Simone and Damon are about to rekindle that old flame. Can you believe that? I mean, the man straight rejected her love confession, all because Damon's back on the scene. You can feel Simone's frustration, and honestly, who wouldn't be? She put herself out there, and Lando just shot her down, assuming her feelings weren't real. The wild part is, Nate and Keisha don't even have anything to say at first, because deep down, they're probably thinking the same thing as Lando. Like, is she really over Damon, though? Then Keisha finally speaks up, and she's like, all the reasons you and Damon couldn't be together are gone. And y'all, when she said that, I'm gonna tell you right now, things got real awkward. Keisha's basically calling Simone out like, are you sure you haven't thought about getting back what you lost? And honestly, who can blame her for asking? Damon's back in town, and it's no secret that Simone and Damon have history. But Simone's quick to shut it down, saying, Damon and I are just friends. Hmm, you say that, Simone, but do you really mean it? I don't know, y'all, because Keisha's giving her that look like, are you sure though? And to be real, we're all thinking the same thing. Can you ever just be friends with someone you had that deep of a connection with? Nate being the smooth one, decides to make a quick exit with a little humor to lighten the mood. She's like, just like Keisha and JR are friends, huh? Oof, shots fired. That joke hit hard because we all know Keisha and JR have been walking that fine line between friends and something more. It's a playful jab, but it's real too. The whole situation is kind of messy with these friendship-turned-romantic-feelings vibes going on. But after that, Nate bounces, leaving Keisha and Simone alone. Keisha just says goodnight, but the vibe is totally awkward now. And Simone? She's done with the day. You can feel it in her last words. Whatever. I'm over today. Girl, we feel you. When the people closest to you start questioning your feelings, it's tough. Simone's dealing with a lot. Heartbreak from Lando doubts from her friends and the looming presence of Damon back in her life. So let's break it down. We've got a classic love triangle here, Simone, Lando, and Damon. Lando's feeling threatened by Damon's return, and honestly, who can blame him? But the way he handled it, rejecting Simone's confession of love, that's a rough move. Meanwhile, Keisha and Nate, they're both kind of stuck in the middle, trying to figure out if Simone's really over Damon or if there's still something there. So what do you guys think? Can you ever just be friends with someone you had that deep of a connection with? Like you were totally in love and had history with? Let me hear your thoughts. And if you're enjoying these recaps, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. All right, fam, that's a wrap on this one. Catch you all in the next one.